So today I'm going to teach you guys how I created this 3D text effect that I used in my Kali cover edit. So we're starting off in Blender. This is a free software that anyone can download, so no plugins needed. So we're going to hit X on our keyboard to delete this default cube. Then we're going to hit Shift A on our keyboard to add text. And we're going to hit 7 on our keyboard to go into top view so we can see the text overhead. So we need to hit tab on our keyboard to go into edit mode and then edit our text. So we need to type it this way that I have it on the screen. So when we have it in a circle, it reads the other way. So you'll see um, further, but just make sure you end up having the text look just like this. So then next, we're going to hit tab on our keyboard to get out of edit mode and go into object mode. And then we need to hit shift A on our keyboard and then select curve and then hit circle. So we need to select the circle and hit S to scale the circle larger. And so we need to go into our modifier tab. So where that white marking is, is the actual modifier tab. And we need to add the modifier on the text. So just follow the instructions that I have here on the screen to add the modifier to the text so you can form it to the circle. So now we need to hit tab to go back into object mode, select the text and go into the text panel. And then under geometry, increase the extrude value and I increased mine to around 0.43. This may all seem a little confusing if it's your first time using Blender, but just slow down. You know, don't be afraid to pause and like slow down the speed of this video so you can catch everything. So now we need to right click on our text and then convert it to a mesh because this is how we're going to manipulate it. Then we need to hit zero on our keyboard to go into camera view because this is how it's going to look when we export it. Why don't you change your camera dimensions to 1080px by 1080px. And then now we need to rotate the text and add keyframes. So we're going to select R on our keyboard and make sure your mesh is clicked and then select R on your keyboard and you can use the, the mouse to rotate the text. So just follow the instructions I have here on the screen. Just remember when you want to create a keyframe, hit I on your keyboard and then select location and rotation to set your keyframe. So you have to move it first and then hit I to select the keyframe um, because it won't automatically create a keyframe for you like it does in After Effects when you manipulate the shape. So just follow the same process until you get it to rotate as many times as you want. So we're going to go into the materials panel and then change the base color. I did like a really, really light pink. So just follow the render instructions I have here on the screen. Um, I adjusted the light and then turned on the ambient inclusion and bloom and then changed the bloom color. So just follow the instructions. I didn't want to explain every little thing because I don't want this tutorial to be too long. But just pause the video and copy the render settings that I have. Wherever the last keyframe ends on your timeline, change the endpoints. So make sure to turn on transparent under EV under our render engine. And when it's the grids look like this, that's how you know it's transparent. So now you're going to select render animation and then it's going to render all of your image files. Okay, so now we're in After Effects. Um, make sure your composition is 1080px by 1080px, how it was in Blender. And then we're going to import our files, select the top one, scroll all the way down, hold shift, and then select the last image. And then once you do that, make sure you select PNG sequence. So once you import your PNG sequence, just drag it from your project panel into your composition onto your timeline. And so now we're going to brighten up the 3D text. So we're going to add hue and saturation to this sequence, and we're just going to raise the lightness. Then I also added a glow setting to give it um, like a glowy pink accent, which is kind of similar to how the original cover text looked. So just follow the um, settings that I used on here. So now I'm just bringing in the images of the, the cover animation. So this is the original cover and now I'm just going to adjust the text to match the original cover. Like I said, the text is a different font, but you can find out what font she used. I just, this is just for beginners. So I wasn't doing all of that. In this tutorial, I'm not showing you how I actually animated the cover because I have other tutorials on how I animate album covers and how I animate images. So this tutorial is just how to use the text, but just go into the description box to watch my other tutorials on how to edit, how to animate album covers. So then we need to select our 3D text and hit Command D to make another copy. And so we need to have the 3D text on top and then a 3D text on the bottom. And then we're going to take our pen tool to make a mask around um, the part of the text that we want to show on top and then a mask around the part of the text we want to show on the bottom. 
So just watch me because it's kind of confusing to explain, but you'll get it. Just watch me closely. When you actually animate her with like the pencil or whatever you choose to use to animate her, you're gonna probably have to create keyframes under mask path so that the text doesn't go within her body. So there I'm just creating keyframes to make sure the text doesn't go within her body. But here's the final product. This was really fun. This was my first time incorporating Blender into a After Effects 3 animation. And you don't need any plugins to do this. So eventually I'm going to end up getting Element 3D so I can bring in 3D assets into After Effects that I create in Blender. But yeah, so subscribe to be on the lookout for other tutorials I post. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok for exclusive new content and fun tutorials, edits, and more. See y'all in my next video.